Okay, moving on today to lesson 8.4. Last week we learned how to use a value of x to create an ordered pair. Uh, quick examples to bring it back to memory, just to make sure we still got it, is the question that we saw where it said create an ordered pair with an x value of 6. And it wanted you to show your work, so what you did was put y equals, remember if that's 6, then you wanted to put the 6 in there, so 4 parentheses 6 minus 11 which then becomes y equals 24 because again you do multiplication first minus 11 and then 24 minus 11 is 13 and what we found out is that the ordered pair is based off of x and y with x going first and y going second and so that was our ordered pair that we created as a result so again all it was doing was telling us to put 6 in for x and then show the work which again you are going to have to show that work uh, to make sure that you can actually get that right because those boxes were there and they will also be there today. Uh, create an ordered pair again, x value of 9. So what we're going to do is turn our x into a 9 because that's what x is. So 2 parentheses 9 plus 7. So y equals 2 times 9 is 18 plus 7. Therefore y is equal to 25. Again there is my y, there is my x. My ordered pair therefore is x first y second. That is what we're going for. So if you know how to find those numbers, if you know how to do that process, then you are in good shape because pretty much it's not such a big step today. Actually, it's not a big step all week until you start to put things together. So the useful point of ordered pairs uh, requires us to be able to find more than one at a time. Uh, today we're going to use a standard method to create two ordered pairs. What do I mean by standard method? It means use x equals 0 for your first point and x equals 1 for your second point. You might want to write that down because what you're going to do is you're going to miss a bunch, you're going to get frustrated, you're going to tell me you don't get it, and it's because you're not using x equals 0 first and x equals 1 second, and that's going to be on you because I'm telling you to make sure you write that down. You have to do it that way. There is a good reason, though, for using those two numbers. Let's mentally evaluate these answers for x equals 0 and x equals 1. So for x equals 0, what's 9 times 0? Well, it's 0. What's 4, negative 4 times 0? That's 0. What's 150 times 0? That's 0. What's 9 times 1? Well, it's 9. Negative 4 times 1? Well, it's negative 4. What's 150 times 1? That's 150. Those two numbers are good because they easily get converted because anything times 0 is 0 and anything times itself is just itself. I'm sorry, anything times 1 it's just going to come out as itself. So in your work today, you're still going to be expected to show your work on the computer. Again, you will also be required to follow a format of questions. Uh, we'll work through problems that look just like your homework, again, so you can copy the notes and use them for assistance. And that way, again, as you get stuck, I can simply say, well, if you copy the notes, you should be good because that is a true point. So what you're going to be asked to do is create two points using the from the equation using your notes as a guide. So this is the equation. And the thing says, is going to say, what x should you use first? Well, standard format, we are going to use 0 first. So create an ordered pair using that. And again, there's going to be boxes here. So you're going to use this equation, y equals 2 parentheses 0 minus 9. Remember, anything times 0 is 0. And if you have nothing minus 9, you can type that into your calculator. But what typically happens is your 0 goes away, giving us negative 9. So your first ordered pair is 0, comma, negative 9. What x should you use second? Well, based off of the format, we use 0 first, and then we use 1 second. And so therefore, we are going to take, again, this equation, y equals 2x minus 9, and plug that in there. So 2, parentheses 1, minus 9. Again, the nice thing is 2 times 1 is 2 minus 9. 2 minus 9, if you do that in your calculator, is negative 7. But if you remember that, that silly game I did with the signs, if you have 2 positives and 9 negatives, remember that you subtract because they're different. The negatives win because there's more, and the negatives win by 7. That's really what I was trying to kind of show you to do, but you don't need to know that yet. We'll get to that later. But anyway, your ordered pair is going to be x equals 1, y equals negative 7. So that is the process we are doing today, is you are going to be creating two ordered pairs using a standard format to get that done. So as long as you can take your time and use the process that we learned in our last lesson, then you should be okay. Again, questions are very repetitive. Create two points for this. What x should you use first? Zero. Always use zero first. And so then we'll do y equals 7 times 0 plus 4 
Again, anytime you use a zero, it means it's going to turn into zero plus four. And anything, pretty much the zero again just goes away, leaving us four. So our first ordered pair is x equals zero, y equals four. What x should we use second is one. So again, we use seven x plus four. Again, same equation. You just got to do it twice. So y equals seven times one plus four. Again, anything times one is itself. And seven plus four is just eleven, which means our second point is one comma eleven. So you should notice again, we're not taking major large steps forward. We're just taking a process and kind of expanding on it a little bit. And we'll expand on it again tomorrow before we put everything together. But again, that's all we're doing. This is the same process. It's just giving you a little bit different way to see it. It's actually making you follow a format of using your own numbers and pretty much making you use specific numbers, which is again, zero and one. Same question here again, create two points using your notes as a guide. Again, hopefully you're copying this some, at least one of these down. What X should you use first is zero. Create an ordered pair using this number. So again, we take the zero, plug it in for X. So it's Y equals five times zero minus one which means it's y equals zero minus one. Remember all that happens is zero goes away because it's nothing, giving us a negative one, which means my first point is zero comma negative one. Or you could use your calculator and type zero minus one, but whatever you do, just make sure you understand how to get that negative one. What x should you use second? Always one. Create an ordered pair using this number. So again, you'll do y equals using this equation, 5x minus 1, so 5 parentheses 1 minus 1, which then turns into 5 minus 1, which then becomes 4. Those are your numbers, 1 comma 4. I don't think there's anything else to do on that because again, that's it. So these three examples, if you get stuck, just go back to the video, watch it again, and it should at least give you the idea to of what you might be missing or like I said fill out the information um, have as many boxes filled in as you can and you know have me critique what you're doing or at least tell you what to do next whatever you do just don't send me an empty screen or empty work and then say how do I do it because again the explanation of how to do it is on this video so make sure you answer the question at the end of the video and good luck